Welcome everybody. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at Ubuntu 9.04 and uh, how to install Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And so to get started, this is an updated tutorial. Uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and start. This is a fresh install of uh, Linux Ubuntu. We're going to go to the Synaptic Package Manager and then we're going to do a search for Apache. All right. There's Apache 2, so we're going to mark it for installation. And then we're going to go ahead and just click Mark. And then we're going to click Apply. And Apply. Alright, take just a second there for uh, all these files to, to download. All right. So now, if Apache was all you wanted, there you go. You you were uh, finished now. But that's not all I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, MySQL. Uh, server. There it is, right there. Whoops. Let's go back. Ah, here we go. All right, we we'll want to mark the server for installation. I'm going to go ahead and uh, mark a few other things. We can, you can do all this together instead of installing them uh, differently. We'll do PHP my admin. There it is. Mark that for installation as well. Uh, just click mark. That's fine. And we're going to go ahead and install PHP as well. Uh, we'll use PHP 5. Uh, I guess PHP 4 is still there somewhere. Um, if you need PHP 4, or maybe not. Okay, well, if you need PHP 4, I don't know what to tell you. But we're going to go with 5. So, all right, so now we've got all those components uh, marked for installation. We're going to click apply, and this may take a minute to download all of those files. All right, so now uh, they have all finished downloading. And now I've got this screen here. It says configure MySQL server. Now you need to uh, pick a new uh, password for root. I suggest you using a good password for this too and don't use a weak one because it's uh, essential that you secure this, especially if you're uh, going to be having a live server. All right, we'll click forward. All right, now it wants you to repeat that password. All right, now you can have it uh, automatically configure for PHP. Since we installed Apache 2, that's what we want to configure. Forward. Alright, so now we've got this. We're going to uh, leave that checked. We're going to click next. Then we're going to enter the root password. Alright. Okie dokie, and now we got that done. So, the next thing we want to do, um, I like to use the uh, GUI called R Apache. Now it does have a glitch with uh, Ubuntu 9.04 that I will show you how to fix. We'll click apply for that. Thank you. 
All right, so now we have our Apache installed as well. All right, so now we're going to look, uh, we're going to go up here and open our Apache. And as you can see, it's got, it's got that uh, running. You can see the status of Apache. Now here's the problem with it. When you go to uh, edit this, and then uh, say you type in uh, myserver.com, and then you click save, it freezes up. Anytime you click save in our Apache, now it's frozen. You can move it around or whatever, but it's non-responsive. So the only thing you can do is force quit. Now watch the tutorial below and to find out how to uh, fix our Apache. I had to create a separate tutorial because that's a common problem and I wanted to make it a separate video. So watch the tutorial below this one and, and we will show you how to fix our Apache and get your Apache server running.